Hello, scholars. Welcome to another reading lesson. Remember, we are now in reading book B with the pictures of the cheetahs on it. It is textbook B. Make sure you have that one with you. And your packet for the Iditarod stories. We're using it for lessons 91 to 99. It says 100. Pause for a moment, make sure you have those two things, and then go ahead and get right to lesson 93. That's today's lesson. All right, lesson 93. Touching column one. Word one is assistant. What word? Right, assistant. An assistant is somebody who helps the person who is in charge. A teacher's assistant is a person who helps the teacher. A doctor's assistant is someone who helps the doctor. Look at word two. Word two is certificate. What word? Good, certificate. A certificate is a paper that proves something. If you have a birth certificate, it proves where and when you were born. A graduation certificate proves where you graduated and when you graduated. Certificate. Word three. Word three is health. What word? Correct, health. Your health refers to how well your body is. If you are in good health, your body is well, you're healthy. Word four. Word four is according. What word? Right, according. If you do something that follows the rules, you're doing things according to the rules. If you do something that follows what somebody said, you do that thing according to what that person said. Word five is endurance. What word? Correct, endurance. Endurance tells how long you can keep doing something. If you have great endurance, you can keep doing that thing for a long time. Endurance. Scholars, let's go through that list one more time. There are a lot of new and big words in there. Ready? Back to one. Here we go, the quick way. Ready? Assistant, certificate, health, according, endurance. All right, good work. Let's go to column two. So the first syllable of each of these is underlined. We're going to try putting the whole word together. So word one, night and mare make, right, nightmare. Word two, X and change make, yes, exchange. Three, stiffen and ed make stiffened. Right. Four, back and words make, Correct, backwards. Number five, inch and id make inched. And number six, exam and end make examined. Examined, nice job, examined. Going to column three. Column three, word one, what word? Right, injure. Number two, what word? Yes, pest. Number three is the word thorough. Be careful on that one because it looks a lot like it could be the word through, but it's thorough. Be thorough when reading that. What is word three? Right, thorough. Number four is included. What word? Good, included. Number five is officials. What word? Yes, officials. And number six is veterinarian. What word? Right, a veterinarian. Nice job. All right, scholars, we are ready for part B. If you feel like you need to practice any of those vocabulary words before we move to the reading, go ahead, press pause for a moment, read through those vocabulary words, and then press play when you're ready to join me. All right. Part B, our story for today. Practice run. 
a practice run, sorry. Are you remembering where we left off? Chad had intentionally got the sled stuck so that he could test the dogs, right? To see how they do at getting it unstuck. All right, a practice run. The sled was stuck against a rock on the slope. Susie patted Denali's head and said, watch carefully so you'll know what to do. So remember, Denali's not one of the dogs hooked up on the sled. Denali stiffened up as he tried to figure out what he was to watch. Chad said, wheel dogs, ha. Ooh, scholars, do you remember which direction ha is? Left. So he wants the wheel dogs to pull to the left. Denali jumped. At the same time, the pair of dogs, just in front of the sled, pulled hard to the right. The other dogs backed up a little bit. Hmm. So they pulled hard to the right. I'm going to have to look into that. Because ha, I believe, is left, right? And G is right. Hmm. The other dogs backed up a little bit. The pulling turned the sled so that it was now facing almost uphill. It was no longer up against a rock. Now, Chad shouted two more commands. Ha, he called out, and the lead dogs moved left. Then he shouted, Mush! And all of the dogs pulled the sled uphill, away from the rocks. After the sled had gone a little ways, Chad shouted, Whoa! Stepped on the brake and got off the sled. He ran up to the left lead dog and patted her on the head. Then he patted the wheel dogs and said, Good job! He smiled at Susie and said, not one pair of dogs got tangled up. That was great. Let's take a moment, hold that spot, and look at the picture. What would you say is happening in that picture? Right, it looks to me like maybe you said something about the wheel dogs that just pulled the sled free. Right, They were just pulling away from that rock area where they were stuck. Hmm. And now I would imagine they'll continue on with a little more practice, right? For the next three hours, Chad did everything he could to get the sled stuck. One time, the sled was going across a steep bank when the sled tipped over and Chad went tumbling down the side of the hill. When he stopped rolling, he sat up, spit out some snow, and began to laugh. As Susie watched, she forgot that she was supposed to hold the leashes of the two dogs. When they saw Chad rolling down the hill, they thought Chad was playing, so they raced down the hill. Before Chad could get up, the dogs were all over him, licking his face, growling, and pretending to bite his boots and mittens. Some of the dogs on the gang line wanted to join in, but the lead dogs did not move. So the team had to stay where it was. So let's pause again for a moment and look at the next picture. So what would you say is happening in this picture if you were describing it? Right. Did you say something about the two dogs jumping on Chad and playing with Chad? Do you remember the names of those two dogs? Did you say Denali and Butch? That would be correct. What do you think made the dogs think Chad was just playing around? Yes, did you say something about him laughing right after he rolled down the hill, right? It looks like he's playing as he rolls and then he laughed at the bottom. So it all seems like it's just in fun and play. And why didn't the other dogs in the team join in? Correct. The lead dogs didn't go and join in, so all the other dogs do what the lead dogs are doing. 
quite interesting. All right, a few minutes later, did you keep our spot? A few minutes later, the sled was upright and the team was again pulling the sled across the slope. It turned down to the river where he again got it stuck between a rock and a tree. This time, Chad could not free the sled, so he unharnessed the team, unloaded the sled, and pulled the sled backwards until it was free. Before hitching the team to the sled again, Chad said, Let's try a run with 16 dogs. Susie felt a big smile form on her face. So scholars, why would that make Susie smile? Did your answer have something to do with her being happy? Because now Denali right, gets to be a part of the practice. Remember, Denali and Butch weren't in the practice. Now her dog, Denali, gets to be a part of that. All right, scholars, I just passed that blue star, right? So find the blue star. You're going to read the rest of the story to yourself. I want you to be very careful because in the part you're reading, Chad has thoughts about why 16 dogs is better and why 14 dogs is better. And you're going to need, right? So what's good about 16 dogs and what's not so good about 16 dogs. You're going to want to pay really close attention to that. So it's the next two or three paragraphs that you really want to focus on. You'll need that information in your homework assignment today. Press pause, read the rest of this story to yourself, and then I have just a few questions for you before you go to your assignment. Good luck. All right, let's check on a few things. So, according to the story, what's going to be happening the next day? Right, the dogs have an appointment at the vet, right? They're being examined by the vet. And what did we find out happens if a dog does not pass the examination? Correct, it can't be in the Iditarod. And how long did Susie figure it was going to take for one vet to check all the dogs? Four hours. Yes, that's a long time, isn't it? Wow. And one more question. And it's your own opinion. It seems like it would be a problem if a dog didn't pass the examination. Do you think all of Chad's dogs are going to pass the examination? Why do you think they will or they won't? Hmm. All right, I guess we'll find out tomorrow what happens if they all pass or not. All right, scholars, be sure to click on the link to join me for a quick look at your assignment today.